G'day ZikiD here, in my last guide I went over the basic gameplay loop of collecting organs and making a metamorph, and now that we're at endgame, I want to dive into a bit more detail on how you get unique organs to farm the next level of content. While you've been collecting organs and building metamorphs, you may have noticed that there is a bar of goop on the right that fills up as you add organs. The amount of goop that is added corresponds to the rarity of the monster giving the organ, so unique boss organs and rare monster organs give the most. This goop bar also determines the level of bonus stats and drop rates the metamorph will have. If you fill the bar completely, the bar will writhe and look quite different. The importance of this is that if you defeat a metamorph with a full bar like this, it gives a guaranteed unique organ from one of the boss organs you put into the metamorph. It essentially supercharges that organ. Now unlike regular organs, these unique organs are actual items that can be kept and taken from the map. They can even be traded with other players, though be careful googling organ trading lest you get put on a list. These unique organs can have multiple bonus drops on them which so far seem to roll randomly. Sometimes they can get pretty spicy and I've seen organs with 5 good bonuses on them that they'll add to the metamorph that you'll create with them. So once you have all 5 unique organ types, you can head to Tane's lab and drop them in the machine to create a mega metamorph comprised entirely of unique boss organs. The resulting fights so far, as of early endgame at least, have been actually pretty easy compared to map metamorphs due to the lack of rare monster organs stacked with auras and buffs. They can hit pretty hard, but they aren't quite as ridiculous as some of the map combo metamorphs that you can make. They can drop some pretty incredible loot though, as you can effectively stack 5 unique organs with 5 good affixes on each one of them for a ton of drops including currency, previous league rewards, uniques, linked items, gems, divi cards, and so on and so on. Ultimately, the rewards you'll get will be determined by the organs you put in, so I quite like the player agency aspects of this league. So there is a bit of a trick to getting these unique organs reliably. You have to get that full goop bar, and that goop level is determined by rare and unique monster organs. So there's two things you can do to help nearly guarantee unique organs from endgame maps. The first is less effective, but still something to keep in mind. A single unique boss organ plus four rare monsters in endgame maps seems to always fill the goop bar. So things like extra rare monsters on the map, like from the Nemesis Zana craft, should help. The far more effective approach though is to farm maps that simply have multiple bosses. Two boss organs will pretty much guarantee a full goop bar regardless of your other organs that you put in, and three is certainly going to get you there. So maps like Racecourse that always have three bosses and thus three organs unless you get a duplicate, like two brains for example, those are very good maps to run and on, on average you're going to be pretty much nearly always pulling out a unique organ from them. Keep in mind that there's also the map affix that can double the bosses on a map, so that is a very high value map mod to keep an eye out for this league. So the strategy for min-maxing this follows logically that you max out your goop bar whenever possible, running multiple boss maps and using rare monsters wherever possible. And the reason for this is just the rewards from those metamorphs made with the unique organs are quite good, so you want to be getting those uh, as often as possible. If you can get one every 5 maps or 5 to 10 maps, then you're going to be doing pretty well in terms of income. If you cannot fill that goop bar, however, when you go to make a metamorph, then what you want to do instead is prioritize monsters with the best rewards, even if they happen to be blue or white. So trading out a rare that doesn't have a reward in favor of a blue monster that has like a currency drop reward is going to be a good idea. And alternatively, if you are overfilling your goop bar due to having two or three boss organs available, then you can drop some of the rare monsters that don't have rewards in favor of better reward organs instead, since your goop bar will likely still be full from having so many unique organs in there. Now, some people have rightly pointed out that white and blue monster organs can indeed spawn with good rewards. However, it seems to be much less frequent than rare and unique organs, which makes a lot of sense. It's a bit like that idea of clicking a rock and getting exalted orb and then deciding to click every single rock in a map, right? Yes, you can do that and technically they have a chance to get an exalt. Your time is probably better spent killing rare monsters and bosses and things like that that have a much higher chance to give you those good rewards instead. So the strategy I mentioned in the last video of not worrying too much about white monster organ drops while clearing has proven pretty sound for me. I typically grab them when they're convenient, and a couple at the start of the map to get a full set of organs. Generally though, rares and bosses with the occasional blue monsters get my metamorph made and generally with very good rewards, without bothering with the dozen or so extra white organs that drop every map. That's a bit less clicking at least. Of course, if GGG makes it so that the organs are automatically collected, then we won't have to worry about this at all. And that would save a lot more clicking. Now, one more thing to mention is that you may have noticed that there is another goop bar in the Metamorph lab. 
So far, doing around tier 5 maps, I haven't been able to come close to filling this bar. And since they're all unique organs and there's no real, like, changing around you can do, this goop level is likely determined by monster level, I would guess. I'd hazard a guess that red tier map boss organs can fill this goop bar up. I don't know what the reward for doing so is yet, it could be another boss, or another level of organ, or more likely it's something like Unique League Rewards. But we'll find out more about that mechanic once we start farming up those red map level metamorphs. That's it for now, I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.